Hi, folks, and welcome to their Saturday morning Simo Flange. I'm Matt. I'm Benjamin. And this is Time Stories Stella Drive. Stella Drive. Stella! Has a little bit of sexiness just built right into it. I do want to say something. Just into the name. Just into the name. Estre- oh, is it Estrella? Am I saying it wrong? No, it's, a, it's a Stella. Estella. And it's Stella in a streetcar named Desire. That's what you're thinking of with Stella. Well, I'm thinking about Stella. But no, okay, Estrella. Well, we're going to talk to uh, Stella. Estrella. Estrella. Mm. Is there an Estrella Drive? Of course there is. Um, this one takes place in 1982. 1982 NT, which we decided, which we found out is what now time. Now time, yeah. Is that the, what that means? The, the now time or the the main story something like line, that. Something the main like storyline. And the only one it's that we've the only been to, one. Uh, that's alternate time. Uh, we, we don't is, know about that, right? Or we're not spoiling anything with that, right? Well, no, because these are all in the box. That okay. was the only AT one. But we got the details in a spoiler. Like Ooh, afterward, for well, that. well, well. There's more details and other spoilers. There's an that explanation have, to why that have yet we to be to revealed, AT. and it's great. Yeah. So, Estrella Drive <laughs> yeah, okay. takes place in uh, a fictional 1982 NT, but uh, draws heavily on our 1982 AD. Yeah. So let's well, not 82, but. Uh, but it, did uh, a 82 historical, a historical <laughs> significance in this one and we'll talk about that for a minute first off this one comes with the only one the that only comes one with a, a warning mature, label. Oh, is that a is that a label is it well, on the, no, no it's, it's printed it's, on the box it's imprinted in the box it's printed on the box. Mature, mature audiences, audiences only. only so it doesn't say 18 and up it just says mature so when, like when you're 13 you can probably say i'm mature when, when, we're, when we're i can play this like i said i didn't i didn't open this until we all got there and and uh, I was thinking, okay, so we're oh, it says see... on the back, sixteen plus, sixteen okay. and up is recommended. So I guess in France, you know, sixteen is more mature than I guess Americans. Sixteen is very mature. Probably more mature than we they are. Can grow mustaches at, even at this age. Vivi. Oui, oui. <laughs> oui, oui. <laughs> yes. Wee oui, wee. Oui. <laughs> By the way, don't expect that you're getting an awesome '80s time stories game because that's what we kind of oh that's what i kind of how could you not really? i thought we were because when i see 80s i'm like oh i mean sure it's 82 but that's still 80s but yeah you're still so immediately I'm, thinking vanilla ice and mc hammer and yeah, and guns and roses cube and stuff like and, yeah yeah, yeah. You're, the, the you're thinking stranger things stranger things stuff. there you go that's what you're thinking right and so you're, you're thinking all that you're thinking okay i see where we're going here but you're, you're not you're not um, yeah, you might as well just realize at this point, though, that anything you expect is just pff, And if I posed. should mention, this is one where there's only... Th- no, 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 That's a lie. That's not this one. Um, this one says mature audience on it. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking violence. I mean, graphic violence. I'm thinking adult content, you know, and saying adult things. Of course, how mature dirt, is mature? Nudity, on you know, the pictures and stuff like that. And I'm going to be honest, correct me if I'm wrong, it's just cuss words. Uh, That's all it is. Uh, from what we saw, I think you're right. Here's the deal. I think you're Compare right. The, this, well, no, it got pretty Hold on. Pretty hold on. Compare this to Asylum, the first one. Yeah. That one's way more that one's, mature. That one's darker. It's darker. It's got graphic, yeah, violent it does. Things. It does. It I has. Mean, Nudity. I mean, we're talking like it has nudity, <laughs> and I'm sure there's cussing in it, but I don't remember. But the thing is, though, I don't recall that one was more mature than this one. This one has a lot of cuss words in it, but that's really it. Yeah, I think the dialogue is a little bit more heavy. That's all uh, it is. Mature in this one. So that's the only and thing. And some of the stuff you have to read out loud. So maybe you can just like blame it on the game if your mom walks in or something while you're playing. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, but I'm just, I'm just saying. But mom, you gave it to me. It says mature audiences only. <laughs> it's not my fault. Well, when they slap, when you slap a mature audience only, and I'm, put it in the '80s, and put it in the '80s, I'm thinking, okay, whoa, it's gonna be serious. Yeah, because every '80s action movie had gratuitous boobs in it for no reason. Well, yeah, gratuitous yeah, boobs you know, boob, Yeah, no reason all whatsoever. The time, except boobs, in the except in the Netflix Fear Street, 1972. <laughs> Because they're like, well, we can do all this rated R stuff, but we're not showing. But we're not doing that. We're not doing that. We're above that. We're (laughs) honorable people. Are you still bummed about that? Um, No, I'm not bummed about it. I just think the whole thing sucks. But anyway, (laughs) um, I've never seen. Let's try to be like, you know, let's try to be the Jason, the camp, you know, at the camp, the, uh, what's it called? The, uh, what's the Jason? Jason, 
Voorhees, the uh, what's that series uh, called? Uh, uh, the, Friday the Thirteenth. Yeah, yeah. Let's try to be Friday the Thirteenth. The but campy. Let's uh, let's put it. Let's let's dress up as in 1978, but let's really act like we're in you know 2021. Okay, uh, but we're wearing the clothes. Uh, but right? we're, oh, wearing, yeah, the we're clothes, totally right? wearing the yeah, clothes. We're wearing the clothes. Oh, we'll even play 70s music. Okay, cool. We've got an eight track player, but we still right? act like we're in 2021. Right? Yeah. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Right. Act like you're in 2021. You got it. So we still respect. People. Oh yes, we were. I'm really. That's, that's, that's interesting. You bring that up. I yeah. went to see the new Marvel movie. What is it? Black Widow. Uh, to uh, I know, and I. It's. <laughs> it is uh, one of now only three movies in my entire life that I've just gotten up and walked out of. I didn't even finish it. I I, I turned to my date and I said, "This movie's boring and kind of sucks. Can I just? You want to go?" And she said, "Yeah." And then we got outside, and she's like, "The only reason I went to that is because you asked. Well, you yeah. wanted me to. You asked me to." And I was like, "Well, look at the movie posters and what else is playing." And then yeah. I saw like this headline that was like, "Black Widow breaks records." And I was like, "Well, why, why, are you going to go see Cruella again? I mean, maybe, but uh. the whole time Megan's watching, it going, "What is? This? I don't understand what's going on." No, and I'm watching, it going. I don't understand why. I don't care. This is even. Ha- I don't care about no, any of it. No, none, none. And it, I, I just, I just had that experience, and and then that was not what happened with this episode of Time Stories. <laughs> yes. Good tie back. Okay, so right. yeah, but they slapped a mature audience label on this, right? And so it had me like thinking, Widow could oh, use the whoa, mature this audience. is going to be dark because the first one I think was so dark. I, I enjoyed You're right. it, right? Like, but it was really if that's the dark standard themes. Yeah, that we, if that's the standard we're going, we're setting from, and now we have to put a label on this one. Remember, we you were make reading, a good point. But remember, we were reading our character cards from the very first ex, first game, and we're going, "Dang, yeah, this you know, person's messed up." This person's messed up, and the, I mean, just twisted yeah. stuff in there. This one, read uh-huh. the character cards. Okay, this guy's a jerk. Okay, this guy's fun. Okay, she's okay. It's like. Okay, you know it, it was it, almost it a letdown. No, no, no. I'm just saying, I don't think. I guess the mature audience only just must thing have come from the. It's just from the language, but the thing is, maybe just say strong language. I mean, because it, it's not mature. I, well, to be honest, I'd play this with other kids. It has all. I you mean, know, I don't know. I, I mean, if, if the, this the one, words are 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 harsh, but there's no nudity. There's no. If this one deserves violence, a mature audiences, no, then the first one deserves mature audiences. The de- first one definitely. Yeah. Out of any of them, the first one's still the darkest. Now, of course, we have. There's a few others we haven't played yet, but this is not that you think. I was gonna think that this was the darkest one we've played. You know, just what I'm saying. Mature audience. It only. still deals. Oh gosh. Well, is, I mean, it's what, no, still no, 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 deserving. No. There's of still it, some. But. Yeah, there's still some darkness, but. To say mature audience only and not put that on the base game. That's true. I, I don't because the base games. The, maybe that was flat. They the, got that's. The, I don't know. Oh, you, maybe so. Maybe, maybe this so is a thought, reaction. You know, we're gonna say a lot of wordy dirt he here. Can't go so back. The family thinks that they can he play can't this. Can't go back and print it on there. I mean, maybe the Jumanji uh, yeah, game right. could if it wanted to oh, and oh, change itself. Oh, but. You know what? I bet if we pour cold water on one of these corners, it'll just appear because it's been it's on it's there on invisible ink. It's been there the whole time. You're right. We'll learn that later. You're right. Okay. You have to pee on it after drinking an entire Pepsi. Your game is actually a sticker. Peel it back. No, come on. Or hold it under a black light. Oh my God. Oh no. Now I want to do that. Don't do it. Uh, you know and that's why i love these games so much and that's why we have devoted so much saturday morning samo flange to this topic is because we will get we are guessing ourselves like this just like we're doing right now we're hypothesizing about peeing on the board or black serious. lights and yeah invisible ink and crap you like that you think about it the board's mostly white I they know. can put anything it on there it could be under the board itself and and it would be if invisible one of these or something come with a little key ring that flashes oh, a black light oh my says, gosh says okay now scan the top of your uh, base game again yep. here we go yeah and and it wouldn't oh it gosh. would and it wouldn't surprise us at this point and this is how if i can oh i've gosh. been trying to relate in a spoiler free way to the audience the every time we've reviewed one of these what the what the experience is like to play this and that is it like the stat what we just did this back and forth like oh but what if and then this and then oh you know what i bet they're gonna do and just lots of those conversations followed by ellipses and just we're just oh, yeah. what about the 
oh, I bet they're going to yeah. do this to us. And you I know, just wait. I know. And then they come up with something entirely different that we don't yeah. think about. And it just is, and, oh, and again, it's humiliating and, again, and wonderful. That's what we do here. And about that's halfway, what we did here. Halfway into it. Boom. We're into total series. Shift. I flip over a card and go, wait, what? Yeah. And we're all like, wait, what just happened? And so, again, a different a different twist. New twist. Now, new mechanic. Yeah, new mechanic on here. and Without being overly complicated. No, no, it's not overly complicated at all, but it's it's pretty smart. And they, they give you an explanation of why mm -hmm. this new phenomenon which is, is fun. happening. Which, is, which fun. is fun. Which is fun. And so it all makes sense. And so, again... It all makes no, sense, he it says. It went away. But the thing is, there's no questions here. No questions. No no new questions here. Because now that I hear people saying, oh, they don't answer questions, I have no questions right now from this one. It seems no, to be pretty I don't think so either. I, I do have a question about the theme itself. Okay. Now, again, this is not a spoiler. This is at the very beginning of the opening scroll. You know, when you're reading the description, you can read about this. Um, it is based off a pretty strong historical occurrence. I mean, so strong that all the details are spot on. All the details are, they are spot, spot on. on? Uh, They're not inspired the by. Who is, oh. a, well, remember, Nick knew He knew this history, more detail about and it. And he started telling us about this and this, and he was oh, right. Oh, interesting. Because everything he called, he said, oh yeah, because so-and-so is going to be at this location. And they were. And I went, how'd you know? He said, because didn't. that's how it was. I didn't catch the him saying that. Yeah, because he knew ah. this. He knew this uh, case and file. This may be the only one that we know of that is it's drawn. The only like one that. that's drawn from a real. Now, I, no, that's right. The rest of these could have been maybe in but, history at one time. But, but this is a 14, famous. Fourteen nineteen was the last one, or yeah. But know, I mean, this is a, this is a famous historical event. Fairly recent historical people, event. I know. In the last podcast, I say we don't go to big events here. This is one. That was probably the closest mm -hmm. uh, because there have been movies, multiple movies, oh, yeah, documentaries, books, everything, uh, yeah. ripoffs of this story yeah. before. So here we go. I mean, it's not like it's everywhere, but there have been multiple ones. And this is one that when after we were done, the next day, um, the missus asked me, you know, because she, she was gone. She didn't hear anyone she, going up and down the hall. She decided that this time she was going to skedaddle. <laughs> and she went to go stay with her sister, so she could get some with sleep. With the girl, so she could get some sleep. <laughs> and um, but uh, the next day, she said, "Well, how'd it go?" And I told her what the theme was and how we didn't. You and I were kind of. It was kind of new to us because I mean we knew the event, but we didn't of know course. the details. And uh, how Nick could tell the details. Well, then my wife started telling the details because she's a big fan of case Is files she? like this. Oh yes. And so I was like, "Well, that's exactly what happened. Well, that's exactly where that was. Well, that's exactly what the." What the song was playing, you know, but she knew all this. Wow. And so I was like, wow. Well, then she says, well, I'd be interested in playing that one. What? So they made they made an expansion that the missus was like, well, I'd be interested in playing something like that. Wow. Because it's based off something that She's she knows pretty into well. And knows. I'm wondering, is that why? Because remember, each one of these is supposed to be, in a way, standalone. Yeah. Were they coming out with this saying, okay, now it's time for one to get other people involved. You know, at this point, it's gone on for a long time. Let's expand the audience a bit. We know in the next, we know in the next expansion, they did a little promo for to try to get people involved. So maybe before they did the promo, this was something they tried to do to get people involved in, you know, their game who were new to or you know knew of it but never was interested. Well, this one is based off of these things. Maybe that's what it was. But now here's the big question. Why not use the real names? Hmm. Why not use the real characters? Because everyone is. Why not go ultra realistic with it then? Well, and the thing is, though, some of the items, like an album, yeah, is exactly named after. Named, the, you're right. The name, the you're song, right. and the band. Interesting. It's named particularly. Exactly what it was. And so why would you. So do if you go that all, far. All, but there's a few other things that were named specifically. And then when you get to the characters, they're all characterizations of this yeah, yeah. person. Even the artist. They're playing the same roles. Right. Even the artwork looks I similar. I think, uh, no, 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 no. My, I'll tell you afterwards because it's spoilers now, but my wife knew exactly as I was telling her. Which I said, character? So we, well, I said, we went, in a, we went in this room and we saw, she went, 
this person, this person. I was like, are you kidding me? What? And she's like, yeah, because they were there the night of the... I was like, no, but say it again. She went, one was doing this. Yeah, yeah. And the other one was... Yeah. And I, I was like, yes! So precisely what the ha- was is, happening. It is... She it is called it. Very, but she knew exactly... She, she already knew. Oh, she'd and so-and-so so is by the... I said, Holy yes. smokes. So we should have known from the opening sequence... That it was being drawn on, but it was you and I didn't catch it. Strong. Nick caught on to it later yeah. on, okay. but you and I did not catch no, on to it. We know it was... about this, but we don't. I don't study it or I look don't into have it. the details. But Megan was big into that. But she knew. I mean, some of the that the was that's paintings, very specific. The pictures, she knew exactly who they were, who they were really, and wow. what was going. She, yeah, because you're in this in this house. Went. And so that you per- think that that I'll... person's job is a blank? And I was like. Wow. Yes. So you th- so you think that this was a big uh, uh, audience draw, like a, a way to pull in more people? Is what you're saying? I think it was a way to pull in like new Megan people. Uh, and you know yes, the misses to pull and in new people to, to, who weren't yeah. interested in it. And say, hey, this adventure is based off this, and a good point. of course, it's a nice touch to put '82 on there to mm-hmm. have an '80s because a, a lot of people love the '80s. Yeah. And, and so, and this was made. This edition came out in 2017, and that would have been when was Stranger Things released? About then. So that was a that was when the, the nostalgia was at its highest, right? You may be correct. It may have been 2017. I think that's when Stranger Things came out. Yeah, but I don't know how long it takes for the production of the, one of these board games to happen. But it may well, yeah, 2017, 2018, yeah. So. But no, so it hit around the right time, and it hit on a nice topic. But my question is. Why not just go all the way and give the real names? Yeah. Because we all know who they are. I wonder why. The thing is, there's no copyright when it's a historical event. Yeah. If there's any copyright involved, it's going to be on that album with the band and everything else. Exactly. That's where you're going to have copyright legal issues. That's my question, was why they chose to do that when they didn't have to. And it's obvious. I mean, it's, it's play by play. According to Megan and Nick, it's play by play. That's... So I, that's my only question. So that is a good one, I wonder, because I would be interested in playing this again now with her because I want to see her or or a group. Oh, I she, would love to watch a group of like girls who know about it because, you know, girls yeah. for some reason love the murder mystery documentaries and everything and like the and true crime does. stories. She does. She watches that My Favorite Murder podcast. Right, and, and yeah. that's so fascinating. And I, I don't know why the primary audience is women, but it is. And yeah. that, it, it's fascinating. I would love to watch a group of women who love those true crime podcasts play this they episode. They would love this. They would, they would love, love it. This. And I would love to watch and, them play it, especially and, if they already know. And would their strategies change? Would they say, well this is going to happen because i'm a time cop but no they would say because i've seen this on uh you know the I'm id channel last this, night yeah i'm reliving you know, this murder right. now it's my time now my i get to, to change history what would, I do? what would i do and would they strategize differently from what we did mm-hmm. and because we knew about the event well, but we didn't know that i'll level. be honest i'll be honest they'd probably know where to go and what to do faster than we did we kind of wandered around for the longest. Oh, yeah, we did at but, first because we were like, what? But then after a while, Nick was trying to, he was realizing this is just like this case. And my wife already knew that, that the, that's the other thing. So here's the thing. If you've been listening and you've been saying, yeah, I don't know. This is another reason I think this was made specifically for a new, you know, to entice new people new to audience. join is this one has zero lore attached to it. Hmm. Um, if you notice, and it's weird because I was I was a little it just with, hit me after we played this. After we played this, I enjoyed it. I'll say I enjoyed it. Yeah, I did enjoy it. I, I enjoyed it for one reason. There's two ways to win the game. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Remember? Yeah. And then not yeah. doing that. Yeah. Well, we chose the first option. Yeah, we did. And uh, Bob makes a joke about that. Yes, and he does. I thought that was really funny because it's true. So you get to go back it's to true. headquarters and, a, and get chewed out. There's the work harder or work smarter, That's and we true. chose to work harder, but we had fun. That's and Bob true. and Bob does crack a joke. I think that's the first time I've heard him crack a joke before. But anyway, and there's a little bit I, more lore there too with that. In, at least. in a way, in a way. But the thing is, it got me thinking. We had so much lore revealed to us. The last. It's almost one. like. Did you ever watch X Files? I love the X Files. Okay. There was one season that just irritated me so bad. It was the story was all connecting. It was big. It was big. It was big. And so it ended on a cliffhanger, of course, for one of course. season. Next season, we come back. 
boom, a big bang. This is happening. This happened. Oh, and then, it is true. Aliens come. The very next episode is, Scully, Mulder, I need you to investigate acid rain in Wisconsin. Yeah, right. Okay. You're right. like, it's like, wait, wait what? a minute. We just proved just, the existence of extraterrestrials. Yeah, and you found this. Yeah, so and so yeah. is still alive. This is right. all these this things big got plot revealed. Point happened. And now it's like someone hit the reset button's like, okay, now we're gonna investigate acid rain in Wisconsin. Yeah. Now, I'm serious, that's what it was. No, it's it's, it it's like the producers off. of Firefly got involved or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's, but you know what I'm saying? It was just one of those things like, dude, come on, don't we don't need this anymore. We're beyond the the oh, the, yeah, just, the weekly the wasn't weekly Firefly on Fox? And well, yeah. X Files was on Fox. It's the same guy. I bet you anything. <laughs> oh, yeah, but, but the thing is, though, we, we're beyond going to the small little plot point stories. The the monster of the week, the mystery of the yeah. week. We're but beyond, we're beyond that, now. that now. Now we have a big story, but we don't attach that because this is back. This is old well, 90s, that's, 2000s you TV. You have to fill 24 to weeks. 20, yep. That's absurd exactly. now. And no actor will even signs up for exactly. that now. But you're right. Exactly. So that was this But they could have at least waste, late, waited one episode oh, well, to I go back to the Creature to this, of the Week. That's exactly how I felt playing this. You felt like this? Because after Because you got Lumen so much lore Fidai, after the... Yeah. We had, I mean, seriously, we had a backstory for the days. The world opens up. Yeah, it changes quite a bit. The world opens up, and you sit down. I mean, it is a Kaiser Soze moment. Yeah, because we've uh, had moments leading up to this, up to that that last one, and now you're right. It opens up then, a new this door. One has no lore, and I was thinking, huh? It just plays like a regular one of our early adventures. So once and, again, you're telling me the game surprised you. Well, I'm going to say this mm. because I had, if we would have recorded it that night, I would have told you that I was disappointed and that I was, I, 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 I told them this after we, um, right. after we went off the air I'm last gonna week. I'm going to sit back for this one so I can crack my knuckles no, and like, like, okay, hit, last hit week, me with it. Last week after hit we went off it. the air, I told you that I run through these in podcasts head. in my head all the time. The moment we stop playing, the moment we, I go to bed, I'm going to bed giving my ESPN commentary on this, okay? <laughs> So, <laughs> you're Monday morning quarterback. Oh, I'm Monday morning quarterback in this game. Right away. So immediately, I'm saying, okay, I know what I'm going to say. I'm going to say it was fun, but nah, this is a waste. They should have brought this. This game should have been introduced to us earlier on. Those were your initial back thoughts. before we knew there was much lore. Okay, they should have brought this up because it didn't have any lore to it. But then. At, you know, let me sleep on it, that phrase. I had yeah. to sleep on it for a couple of days. Okay. Okay, before I started realizing, actually, it's after I talked to Megan, and it started getting me to think, it's like, wait a minute, she said she would play this game. Not, not. I've told her about all the others. But she but wanted this to play is this the one, one that she perked her interest. And then I started thinking again, wait a minute, it's, it's, it, it, it can be played as a standalone. Mm -hmm. It's got this unique, historical, the closest thing we've got to a famous historical uh, uh, plot point. Yeah, they made this to get people into it, and that's a smart thing. Don't try to bring in all this lore. No, they just need to enjoy this game. That's true. That was the point of this game because now, as as they're moving on, it's like if you didn't watch season one of X Files. You're not going to enjoy yeah, season six. That, that cliffhanger didn't so matter. So it didn't matter to you. So getting jumping in, yeah, right. and, and now I'm I'm excusing Chris Carter a little bit. He may have thought, Man, I, I'm on season five, no. four or five right now. I need to, you know. I still yeah, haven't forgiven Chris fans. Carter for no, how. I, I don't. I no, don't. I don't I'm either. Playing, but let's, I'm just let's not. So Chris Carter, if you listen to this, was, we still that was the don't like what you did there. To get, we said we can't lose new people coming in. Yeah. So keep doing those regular one and done episode so a new person can jump on in um but this one they said hey let's do a one and done here you know classic style this felt this felt old school before we really knew there was an overarching story it felt like that yeah and there's nothing wrong with this game by the way there's nothing wrong with that no, it was really but fun at the same time I, I, and i was about to say you know if you would we'd have done this podcast the day after i said you know what a little disappointed i would put this further back you know, in the, the, in the timeline, rating. I would have made this maybe the second or third oh, adventure. I see. I see. You know, that you play not this one, not after Lumen Fadai gives us all <laughs> this lore. But the thing is, that's not the point. The point is, we're trying to grab new people, and we think this is a good way. I'm with that. That works. And that's, and, and uh, to me, it just came across because after it Lumen Fadai, I am just, and I am just 
You're ready for more. Let's have it. Drop me into the and alien enamored, episodes. Enamored with the lore behind yeah. this now. Now I want to see how this. I right. want to see how this ends. I want to see how this ends. But the thing is, this one doesn't give you anything, and that frustrated me for a moment until I realized the actual point of the game. So uh, overall, I mean, it, it was a it was a it was a very good one. I don't I don't get the mature audiences besides the. Um, Cussing. There's True. Nothing else we had that, that moment in the middle. Now, is this the one where we had a drop-in guest come and join us? Yes, I should. Uh, Midway. Thank you. That's. I wanted to make sure I covered yeah. that part because yeah. I thought that this was the one that we played that night, where we started the game as well, and this we even le- lends further to people, new audiences playing Time Stories, even yeah. because the three of us have played all of these together. But yeah. we, for the first time, had uh, 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 an audience a, member drop in. A fourth player stayed the whole time. A fourth Marcy player. Case, we had a fourth player. You're right. So, okay, I follow what you're saying. Okay, so yes, the we had a player. Not only that, but to but to drop in like we, mid game almost. And, and it's wild because this one dropped in and finished it through. The last time someone dropped in, started with us, but didn't finish. Dropped out. So we've kind of experienced both. For a brief moment, we've experienced four players. And I'm glad you mentioned that, because that's another note I wanted mm-hmm. to make here. It changed a lot. It did. And this one, and I think Lumen, may have been the only other ones that, that in the setup of the game, of the story. It said, if you have four players, you do this. If you have three right. players, you do this. Right. This one did not give no. that... Uh, Sometimes there's more time, is what you're saying. Yes. And that, it and, changes yeah. the setup of, which, of which is how fair. you got. Which is fair, because you've got four people working. You don't have to split up and find as many clues on or your if own. if you did, you could find stuff off. Yeah, so I mean, you've got four instead of three you who feel can okay. look for stuff. We felt okay doing the one couple two yeah individual. or stay together and, do and, this and we, and, and, we, and we didn't do that it the whole changes time. what it characters you choose yeah. because some characters like work better with others or you can read yeah. their abilities and say well i've got this so you use that and you some stay together start with items we should also mention in this and one. that was what was so beautiful about it is because the yeah. the person who joined in chose a character that ended up starting with an item yeah. which led a lot into the story yes. and interestingly enough a woman and she knew more about this story. And we had a bit of a timeout halfway through this episode where we needed to get food and supplies right. and things. And we had an extremely disappointing experience with some uh, uh, Domino's pizza apps or something like that. No idea. I, I don't know. I still don't know what happened. I, I can't order pizza on an app, obviously. So uh, <laughs> I looked at the guy, too, at pizza. I was like, F you, this pizza's 25 bucks. There's no way it's not stuffed crust. <laughs> He's like, it doesn't stay stuffed crust. I said, show it's me like, that receipt. Yeah, I'm sorry to bring it up. Um, I didn't believe him. Oh, he sorry. went, did you want stuffed crust? I said, what is costing $25 right. for one pizza? Yeah, I know. So. <laughs> so mad. I'm sorry. So That was my fault. But though. she knew a lot more about the uh, storyline as well because I'm I'm thinking she's oh, she probably okay. watched the ID channel because we talked probably about it so. afterwards. She's and because we went uh, sh- uh, when when we had our timeout moment, there was a big plot shift in this one, like a massive yes, uh, plot yes. shift had just happened, and so we said, okay, well, we yeah. better stop here. This is the new. This is the new thing. That this changed. is the thing that new. The new thing that changed. So let's stop this pause because we knew we were going great, to pause. It was a great stopping place. Too. And then she told me some stuff uh, just to me because we were here by ourselves. And then she was like, well, this is that, and this is that. And I was like, really? How do you? And then I realize now, after the fact, that she probably knew a whole lot more about. Uh, yeah, than the story that, that I knew. That's was why I on. said this is one that I think was just was designed. Yeah. to bring in and a new audience. And she dropped in, had a great time. Yeah, and and it fit thematically with it because uh, you know you are time cops going back, being thrown in, and Bob yeah. is like saying, "Hey, I'm going to send you this help and do this thing and from the future or from headquarters." And then so they he was like, it fit thematically so much for the three of us to be stumbling around like, okay, Bob just says, well, "All right, well you're here, come on and join them." And so right. just throw her in, and then she shows up and she's like, "Hey guys, uh, I'm here and you know I've got this item." And it helped with the story. Actually. It helped propel it was, the it, yeah. It was great, yeah. and it did change no. the way the game played. So it's good. If you've got three or four players or this, five, is it up ga- to five? No, it's only so up, it's to four, four. up to four. But the game does the strategy you use does change. Yes, 
does change depending on the number and of And I'm players. happy That's that we point. have discovered that, too. No, yeah, no, absolutely, absolutely. So, final thoughts on this one? Y- your final thoughts on this one? I, I, uh, it's so hard to give final thoughts on them without finishing without them Without doing... Yeah, because I feel and like that's true. That's no. I'm just saying, just based on this game, did you enjoy all it? all by itself? Oh well, yes. yes, I have enjoyed all of. Yes, them. I, I've enjoyed. And it. I and like you said, I loved the way it ended and how it could have ended and how. It, yes, uh, and I loved it that they told us. that. I love there were two endings. Yeah, and we, we actually read them both. Yeah, because and, and, I want to see what the other and one that's was. That's great. It was hilarious. Ours was hilarious. And that is fun. I like that part of it. I love the idea about them bringing in new audience members and and designing it in a special way. Because again. Once again, we thought thought we knew what we were getting into, and we did not. Yeah. And I love that. Just that alone yeah. is a hit for yeah. me. Like just that alone, and the rest of it, like the artwork, the storytelling, it's just as high quality and good exactly. as anything exactly. else that we've played. And it didn't. I we did not have a screaming and waking up the misses moment in this one. I don't think. Now, no, she wasn't no, here, but even if she one, had been here, she is would, what I'm we saying, been calm. we could have. Held it together. We're, we're saving that for this weekend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, or maybe next week on Saturday. Morning. Uh, Mano Samo Fresh. <laughs> <laughs>